Hi everyone. Okay, so another weight loss blog update thing. So, <clears throat> um, as for exercise, um, I've been trying to walk as much as I can. Um, I don't usually go on the treadmill like I should like my plan was to go on it every single day um, <clears throat> and if I couldn't be bothered going on the treadmill then my plan was to go for a walk around my local lake and use their outdoor <clears throat> gym equipment because that's free to use so that's pretty helpful for people that can't afford to actually um, pay for a membership to go to the gym um, I don't know why I am the way that I am. I guess I can blame it possibly on the coke that I drink. I'm fairly addicted. I have been for many years. Um, you might have seen in my other videos like Coca-Cola addiction. Um, I've tried so many times to get off it and I can't. I think the longest I've ever gone is probably about two weeks without drinking a coke. and it killed me like I'm telling you now I had the worst withdrawals ever I had really bad headaches and the headaches is the ones that make you go back to drinking it that's what I found because you know headaches are intense and you know you just can't stand it so you just go get a coke to stop the headache and that's what happens with me as soon as I don't have a coke my headache will start to come about it could take maybe half a day for the headache to progress and then as it gets towards night time if I still haven't had a coke it gets a lot worse and then I'll go have water but then water tastes like crap for some reason but if I'm like really really thirsty in the morning I love my water like I just get that craving to want to drink all this water but then I get this trigger that's like no nah, go have coke it's better when I know that it's not good for you or anything like that but for some reason I've just got this thing in my head that I just keep going to bloody buy it um I've tried like hypnosis and all that type of stuff it doesn't work <laughs> um and I'm trying like other things as well but would, I'm just gonna take it one step at a time like I used to drink um how much was it 600 mils a day of coke um I think that was last year and then now I drink like a can of coke only I know that there's others that drink a lot more than that and whatever but to me I don't even want to have a can of coke a day and I don't even want to buy a can of coke a day and go put it in the fridge and then sip it throughout the day because I know that I'm just going to end up drinking the whole can anyway so I find it really really tempting when coke is in front of me no matter what I'm just gonna drink it even if I haven't been on it for like a couple of weeks and we're at a party or whatever and I see coke there I'm gonna grab it um, I did try to speak to the coca-cola company about putting like warning labels on like coke and stuff like that saying you know that it can be addictive and everything else like that and I pretty much got like a rude response saying well um, you know it's got like safe levels and all that stuff in it and that there should be a problem and your addiction is not related to coke and your health problems are not related to coke when actually my health issues are related to coke I suffered from um, anxiety and panic attacks a few years ago when I was heavily drinking coke and I mean like two liters of coke a day um, and that triggered my first ever panic attack and that was confirmed by um, my doctors and everything at the hospital and then when I went to drinking water for years and years and years and then I had kids and I went back to coke yada 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 so then it's only till now that the coke is catching up on me again and I'm starting to get panic attacks once again out of nowhere for no reason and I know it's related to the coke um, it just for some reason it takes a while for it to actually catch up with my body and now that I know that it is because I also find that if I'm talking um, or I'm walking sometimes I get like out of breath kind of thing but there's nothing actually wrong with me like I don't have heart problems or high blood pressure or anything like that amazingly don't ask me how I don't have any of that stuff but I don't um, people also say that your teeth rot and that mine are fine 
I don't have any problems with my teeth. Um, I guess I'm just lucky like that and I probably should stop now before anything actually does happen. Um, diet wise at the moment I'm not like I said I'm not on a strict diet or anything like that. If you go on Facebook you can type in like um, fitness models or fitness motivation and stuff like that and they at time to time they put up what they eat and you know little recipe and pictures and stuff like that. Um, I like to kind of do that because I know that fitness models you know they work out and obviously you can tell that they're on a good diet so that's another good idea to do and that's kind of what I do myself so if I can't really think of anything healthy to go cook or make or whatever it is then I just go look on there and see what I can do. Um, so for my height and weight I'm meant to be on 1200 calories a day. I don't track it, I should be though, um, which I probably will just to kind of get back on track and everything like that and I was using my fitness pal quite a fair bit but sometimes you know you forget to put in what you've had and everything else like that so it becomes a bit um, inconvenient at times. Um, what else can I say in my little update here? So my goal is for Christmas to be back into my size 6 or size 8 at least and have a flat stomach. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen but I've told everyone that that is my main goal and I've got like 7 months to do it in. If you ever watch The Biggest Loser in Australia you'll know that they only had um, 12 weeks and most of them are pretty obese when they go on the show and then they turn out. Some of them turn out pretty skinny, but some of them have still got a little bit of weight on them. And I think, well, if they can do that in that amount of weeks, then I shouldn't have a problem losing just that tiny little bit everywhere. But um, because I've only got about... Well, I was 45 kilos, but I was underweight for my height. But that's actually when I felt healthier. But I wasn't, like, anorexic or anything. I just had a flat stomach and I was just skinny. But... Um, at the moment I'm like 62 so you know, maybe 10 kilos or so that I've got left but for some reason it doesn't come off as quick I don't know if it's because I'm not working out as much or anything but I've really got to get my butt into gear I guess but I have been doing my squats um, I have actually seen improvements in that area so that that's good that that part is working but my main part I'm worried about is my stomach area and the love handles which I never ever used to have and now I have them and I'm trying to get rid of them so hopefully I can <coughs> do all of that and as I start to notice that my stomach is going down then I will start to show you my stomach and everything like that but I don't feel confident enough to do that at the moment. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching and hopefully I'll have another update soon. Thanks.